suck it up, Buttercup. It's time for D&D. Hey everybody, in Twitch chat, how are you guys? It's, uh, it's Friday night, that means it's Dungeons and Dragons night. Let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. Um, so we'll get the announcements off the top, as you guys and ladies may have seen or heard on Twitter. We have a new addition to DadBod D&D. Um, as we figure out how to work her into this campaign, we would like to welcome Brittany, who is at TSM Freelance on Twitter. So go find our post, go congratulate her over there. She will be joining us for many of the one shots and um, this at some point. So, <clears throat> that said, mm -hmm. um, we are playing D and D here Friday nights. So you can find us anywhere you search for Dad Bar D and D. We have websites, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, which is down below. Um, we are sponsored by Skull Splitter, so if you want some sick dice, which I think three of the four of us are running right now, um, you can go down below and use the pr promo code Dad Bod, one word, all caps. To get 10% off your for foist your foist order. Um, which Timmy Nips, I believe you won some. And he likes them. Do you like them, Timmy? I mean, let that us know in the chat. Cool that means he's cooler than me. That's probably not a false statement, Charles. No, it probably wasn't to begin with, but now it's just <laughs> an objective fact. <laughs> um so, as you may have seen last week, last Monday, we did run a one-shot of Bard's Gate. It was uh, DM'd by our one and only two socks up there, and it was awesome. So we had some fun. We got to destroy some succubus. Succubi? It was, it was this one. I don't know. I'm trying to make it plural. Singular. Singular. Um, so it was fun. Yeah, go ahead. and It'll be out on YouTube some point if it's not already. Or in the podcast world? Uh, I haven't... We haven't really figured out a release schedule for that one yet, and so I haven't really edited the whole thing. I'm about halfway through. But uh, yeah, the, it'll come out YouTube podcast here real quick soon. Uh, we'll try to figure out where we're going to fit these one-shots into the uh, into the schedule of things, because usually they take... They, like, go in the place of a water deep session or something, uh, so it's pretty easy, but we'll figure it out. Yep. Uh, so yeah, just be on the lookout. So um, our next one shot is 513, 513. It is going to be a Kenku heist. It's not a heist, it's more of a uh, burglary maybe. Uh, rescue, a search and recover maybe. But we do have some special guests for that. So if you are interested in joining the one shots, you can go down to our Discord and just say, hey, I'm here for the one-shots. We'll get you into the rotation, and we'll be throwing out dates. Um, there are some requirements for that. You need to have a good camera, like we all have, at least decent, and a decent microphone, So and decent internet. If you don't have any those three things, I'm sorry, we cannot run a one-shot with you. But we would love to try. So no, I, I think we have it in the works where we'll actually like travel to your house. Well, and then run it at your house. So yeah, you don't I mean, have if you want to pay it. for all of that, <laughs> if you're, you want somebody from the Dad Bod crew to go to your house and play one shot. If the can, price is right, you can donate the money. It will be there. Uh, any other announcements, guys, off the top? Uh, oh wow! Tell tell your friends about us. I actually did that today. You so told a friend. I have, yeah, I totally did. I have so I have a Dad Bod D and D sticker that I have on my water bottle. And somebody had somebody saw it, and uh, that I work with, and so I stopped and spent like an hour telling them how awesome our D and D stream is, and they were like, "I'm going to add you on my podcast list." So uh, Amber, if you're out there listening, hey, hey, hey girl, that's weird. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Well, I don't have any friends, so I really can't. You all are my friends. I, I told, told my people. wife about it. I, I told people that I do it, but I no one cared I enough to watch. I mean, I bring my dice into work, so I try and pawn. Like, dude, check these out. Yeah. You can you get some of your own, man. Just use dad bod code. <laughs> the worst. Um, yeah. I mean, <gasps> no, it's just that I, I did bring them in to work to show some of my other friends that play D&D. And people were like, dude, those are pretty sweet. I'm like, you could order some. I wasn't, like, paying handling. But anyways, enough of that. So 
We ready to get into Waterdeep? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, so recapping, you guys um, did some jobs for Volo, the one and only Volo. He gave you a house, an inset house. You guys started fixing it up as little as you could. Giant snowstorm came through, so you kind of marooned in your house for the most part. Um, the next day after the snow let up a little bit, you had a couple inches to maybe a foot on the ground. You received some interesting mail. Um, straight message delivery people or some kind of telepathic means to ask you to work for somebody that you have yet to know, figure out the names of. But you guys did decide to go down the path of the tickets that Jax received. And it is for... Um, the Light Singer Theater over the Sea Ward. So you guys are on your way there. You guys actually rolled up to that. But we did do some formal uh, montage, which was nice. And the tickets are for the play The Fall of Tiamat. Tiamat. So we were we, all still in the carriage, right? Yes. So as you rolled up, you were in the queue to be dropped off uh, valet style. And it has these two giant uh, statues out front that have giant lights that kind of shoot up into the sky. And it kind of does that, you know, the sexy lights. That's what I call it. Uh, I, think, I think Templeton is like, has how, like half his body like hanging out the window of the thing, trying to get a better view of everything. Um, is this, which part of, which part of, of the city are we in right now? Can you point that out? The Sea Ward. Which and is it is it nice is it nicer like is this like a, maybe like a glitzy part of town we haven't been to? I wouldn't say it's glitzy. It's probably more of like the hipster side of town. Bo Bohemian yeah, kind of thing. That's fair to okay. Say. So it's it's, it's like <laughs> it's Portland. It's not like high class, but you go there. There's good food restaurants that kind of blend into the local scene. Portland. Um, yeah. No. Exactly. That's a great descriptor of it. It's where all the hipsters are. Uh, and that's where I stay away. Um, so it. what time was it again? Sorry, it's like evening time. Yeah, arc. it's probably seven-ish. Okay. Ish. Got the light shown out. How many people are kind of <laughs> gathered around? Hundreds. Oh, There's a lot. So this, this is a pretty big theater. And... I mean, you're in a queue of probably 20 carriages waiting to pull up, drop you off, and then leave. I think we need to wait till we get to the uh, to the front and walk up that red carpet. But I do think we should we need to like stay together. There's a lot of people. I'd hate for us to get like split up. I mean, I. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I am not very tall, and uh, if uh, I lose Templeton, I. <laughs> uh, good luck finding me. Do you want to ride? Well. uh... No, Templeton. I think with our nice clothes, I'll, I'll walk. I just need. I just want to stay within uh, close distance, you know. And just, just because it, I don't know why I don't remember any of this. Maybe I was a little too drunk. Um, what, what is our, what is our, what are we doing here other than seeing a show? You're here to talk. So I'll read you the the note. And Travis, okay. I assume you showed everybody the letter that you received. Yes, I did. Raynor tells us you are a good bet. He bought you tickets to the opera tonight at the Light Singer Theater in the Sea Ward. If you're interested, meet Mert, M-I-R-T, at intermission. Private box C, formal attire is required for admittance. Meet him at the box or? It says meet him, meet Mert at intermission. Okay. Outside private box C. Nope. But we are in private. That, that is our, those are our seat. Oh. Read, read it again. Raynor tells us you were a good bet. He bought you tickets to the opera tonight at Light Singer Theater in the Sea Ward. If you're interested, meet Mert at intermission. Private box okay. C, formal attire is required for amendments. Gotcha. Okay. At intermission, that, full that was stop. a hard stop after at yep. intermission. There was a period. Yes. Private box C, period. <laughs> okay. Well. Ooh, we get the private box. What I what I know from these boxes is they probably bring you food and drink to you. Have or you ever been to the opera before? 
Uh, uh, yes, of course. I. You don't grow up in Waterdeep without going to at least one show. They typically do not bring you food. In fact, food is kind of a no-no. Well, I don't know what shows you're going to see, but the shows that I have seen have uh, definitely some uh, popcorn and some uh, and just snacks and drinks. Are you referring to puppet shows? <laughs> well, one of the shows was a puppet, yes. Uh, this is not all of them. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. And Makani's just going to kind of walk forward a little bit. After you walk forward, up. or because we're still in the carriage. Are we still in the carriage? Yep. Yep, we're in the All queue right. of carriages leading up to the front. My bad, my bad. So then, yeah, she'll just kind of stare out the window. I imagine Dax is just kind of staring out the window, kind of looking at the uh, the, the outside of the, the theater or the, the carriages leading up to it and just kind of in amazement at all the, the posh going around, going on. I'm going to take a second and just kind of take inventory of my... I have two daggers on me. I just want to make sure that they're like as close to my my body as possible uh, in a place that at the same time in a place that I can kind of get it out and ready just in case you know you never know what's going to happen uh, always prepared okay but yeah that's where I'm at sure are a lot of carriages out here but it's going to be a big show I hope it's good I mean it's uh, it's about dragons so this should be good dragons those are real I believe so I have not seen any but I from what I hear I saw a dragon once in a dream. It was it was pink, and, and when it flew, it left a rainbow stream behind it. That's probably the best kind of dragon, I think. Uh, otherwise, they don't have so much. They're not too friendly, I heard. But I used to have nightmares as a kid of being burned alive by a dragon. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed. So you guys chit-chat a little bit, and next up... The carriage driver stops, gets down, opens the door. You are here. So what do we see right outside of our our door? So it's a, yeah, I mean, it's, it's normal, like, sidewalk there. It's not, it's just cobbled stone for the most part. Um, then it goes up into a stairway where it has a larger platform area there. Uh, all nice stone. Um, there's probably... 50 to 100 people just milling about, kind of chatting, maybe gathering their party, um, you know, waiting to go inside. Um, but then up at the top of the stairs is the front entrance. So I imagine that uh, Templeton seeing all these people in like nice clothing, everyone he walks past, he's trying to bow to. <laughs> hello to you. And hello to you. <laughs> hello, madam. Hello. Tem- Templeton. I'll kind of snap at you. Come here. Act like you are somebody. You don't know these people. We don't need to bow to them. We just, you know, I mean, you can give them a head nod and be nice, but don't, don't cow to these people. Like it's okay. This is okay. We are, we are one of them tonight. Act like I'm somebody. Yeah. Like look at your look at your suit. I I your, am somebody. Your, look at your uh, your handkerchief and your cufflinks. You look you look good tonight. Yeah, it's a uh, figure of speech. Just it's okay. Oh, okay, okay. So I think from then out, I'll be behind. Uh, I'll be behind. I'll kind of move behind uh, Val a little bit, and every person I pass it on, making like an over exaggerated head nod, like yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sync. That was amazing. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I assume Makani's in the front since she. Yes. I, mean, I, I would. Makani, you take uh, the lead here. You. I was waiting for most of tonight. I was waiting for you all to finish doing your sightseeing. Are you ready to go inside? Of course. It is cold out here. Warm in there. Follow it's me. It's easy. So I imagine that Makani kind of, maybe does, and I don't know. I mean, I'm taking liberties, but I imagine that maybe. These are people she hangs out with a lot, having, you know, worked in the gladiator pits. Uh, she probably, her mom had a name for herself and probably hung out with some well-to-do people uh, who owned gladiators and shit like that. Um, so I, I think this is kind of like her in her element. I mean, she's not here, so that's what she gets. 
she can deal with it. <laughs> so yep. as you guys, you guys kind of part your way through through this crowd of people and this huge entryway. Um, as you walk in, you see a almost like ticket counters, um, ticket takers, and then people searching bags, searching uh, people. So. <laughs> Val? <laughs> uh, Do you need to step as, outside? Uh, no, as I see them, I'm, I'm going to give it like one more pat check and make sure they're in tight. Okay. Um, so are you guys heading up to the ticket takers? There is like a... There's a place where you can buy like flowers. Um, like or, individual single flowers? Yep. I don't need flowers. I'm going to smack you on the shoulder. <sighs> What is it, Templeton? What? I re- I would really like a flower. Are they current like roses or current roses, carnations? Yeah. Okay, I would really like a flower. I they are like they are red and they smell nice, and I would like one. Do you, um, do you know how much they are? I I will give you. There is a handful of copper, and I will slap down five copper in your hand. <laughs> okay. See what, that, see what that gets you. I will wait here and like. I will knock people like out of the way, running up to the table. Um, um excuse, excuse me. Um I I would like I would like um, one wait, red wait, flower. One one moment please. We're assisting oh. this customer right here. Okay, so, sorry. Sorry. Uh it is it is rude to <laughs> to just interrupt. So please mind your manners. And we give him an exaggerated head nod. And so they finish up um uh, yes. What what can I get you? Um one red flower please. Uh rose. And so the small older lady that you could tell this is like her job um, pulls out a long stemmed rose and presents it to you. It'll be three, is, three copper, please. That is very nice. Um, here's three copper, and I'm going to just put all five coppers <laughs> into her hand. Well, sorry, dear, this is five, and she one, two, three, and takes the three and hands you back two. I know how to count, and I'm gonna just put the two coppers on the table and run away with my flower. <laughs> um, well, thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. And <clears throat> bye. It was nice meeting you. I didn't even say bye. I'm so excited <laughs> for my flower. I just ran away. Um, all right. So as as you guys, pretty much everybody else is starting to shuffle into um, the ticket takers and the bag checkers. You guys want to? I'm going to get in line to go through the bag check. Okay. Remind me what you brought with you. I just brought my hammer. Yeah, so they well, kind I would of... say I have my hammer and my bag of normal stuff with me because what okay. is my hammer if I can't potentially tinker? Yeah, so they pat you down. They don't feel the hammer. They look through your bag. You're good to go, sir. Uh, next, please. Thank you. I, I believe that is uh, that is me, and I step up. This as this, as he steps onto the thing, can I be like, "Hey, have you seen my flower? Look at my flower. It's it's really pretty. Um, have you have you ever smelled a rose? It smells like an old lady. Um, here, smell it." The guy's like, "Um, please wait your turn, sir. This needs to be orderly." Um, and he pats you down, and he's like, stops right over the where the knives are, gives it a double check. Hard nipples. And then checks into your bag. You're good to go. Uh, Next, please. Uh, uh, I don't know what my, if Makani, I'm going to assume she didn't have anything on her. Okay. So and she'll, she'll step no forward. Idea. Yeah, they do a quick pat down. Um, look through the bag. You're good to go. Uh, and they just keep continuing next. All right, uh, so Templeton will go through, and he'll hold his hands out, like, at his side, so they can get, like, a full, like, pat down of everything. You didn't bring anything, did you? No, I have nothing. So, yeah, uh, pat you down, look through what whatever personal effects you have. All right. Next, please. And then, so you guys pass through. Um, right here is where you see pretty much three ways you can go. One to the left, one to the right, and then one to the to the front. So the front looks to be like general seating so it's like floor seats uh to the left and to the right um both staircases upwards um there's no signage for you to see what private booth is but you would assume is, it's upstairs is there is there, there a, a, is, around 
Yeah, is there an usher? Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's employees. There's, you know, nicely dressed people that are kind of motioning people. You see them look at tickets every once in a while and, and you know, direct them. I like to take my ticket up to one of them to say, I don't know where this is, and just Ooh, hand, up my, um, hand up my ticket to him. This this is nice. Private box C. You're going to want to go up to the right. The stairs on the right here. Uh, my right, your left. Um, go up there. As you walk up the stairs, it'll be directly in front of you. So the it, private box C. Cool. Thank you. I'm going like, to jump up and grab the ticket out of my hand and just kind of <laughs> excitedly walk towards the front because I'm ready to go see a show because I've never experienced this before. Okay. So excited. I was going to say, as you guys walk upstairs... <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, not that weird. Um, it it branches right there as you walk up the stairs. So it does look like it connects to the other side, to the other stairwell. It just splits it. Um, directly in front of you, you see private box C. It goes to the left. You see private box B, private box A, and then D, E is to your right. Um, and private box C is empty and the door is open. Is there any employee around like to check the ticket to make sure you're good to go in there? Or? Just nope. free, free. Okay, I'm just gonna walk right in and look around. So as you see, see what's in there. Yeah, as you look into private box C, it is like half of a room. <laughs> um, so it has high walls on each of the sides. In the front, it does just have a like uh, railing, so you could see the thing. It's not fully enclosed. So if you were to look up, you can see the ceiling of the main area. Um, if you were to look out and around, you could see into the other private boxes. But there are six seats. Yes, definitely grab a seat and we get comfy and wait for the show. Yeah, is this room nothing but seats, or is there like a little like kind of lobby behind the seats, like you might see at like a baseball stadium? Nope, it's just okay. three by three. So three seats in the front, three seats in the back that are raised just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the front and just grab the middle seat and just sit down. Uh, as I approach the, the railing, how high up are we? Like, the people below us, how far down About are they? 30 feet. Okay, and then the stage is another... 200, 300 okay. feet. Right. Whenever I've gone to, like, an older music venue, like, the seats are very, like, crunched and small to fit people <laughs> in there. What do these look like? Like, are they... <laughs> okay. All right, so I think Templeton is is going to stand. I think he'll attempt to sit in a chair, and it's just, it's not working. It's not going to happen today. Yeah, so I think he'll just stand up next to the door. And that he's also out of the way of everybody, too, so everybody has a nice view. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely like theater box seatings that are pretty tight. Um, you know, larger individuals would not fit. Everybody just takes their seats. Um Five, ten minutes passes, and all the lights kind of dim, so the, the faint glow of all the candles um, all at once seem to dim, which is pretty impressive for those of you that aren't familiar with magic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so they all dim, and then a larger light gets displayed on that front stage. And so, yeah, there's there's it is an opera. So there is a gentleman that comes out and instantly starts singing. Um, you know, Do it for us. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to jump right over to Twitch Sings. No, just kidding. Um, but so the play goes on for an hour. It is it is pretty awesome, and I will describe it for you right now. <laughs> um, I actually we just finished Parks and Rec. I want to be purred happily. We need to create uh, a NPC that is just fucking purred happily. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word with purred? Uh, but no, so so this play happens, and it is awesome. So it, it's a man that's pretty much dueling a dragon the entire hour, hour and a half goes by, of just this this back and forth. Um, it's got okay effects. No, no like real dragon's fire. It kind of just lights up candles as it does it. Um, but lights come on. Somebody over, you know, gets on the stage and says, intermission will be 20 minutes. This is not enough time. I need to go to the bathroom. That show was good. Templeton, and I'll kind of look over my shoulder. Templeton, what do you think of the, the dragon out there? That's not the pink kind like your dreams. 
I think Templeton, this is all very, this is very interesting. Um, uh, and I think he's probably followed the story probably closer than he's ever followed like anything in his life. <laughs> like, I think he was like the first time you take your kids to the movies and they're just like, like, this is amazing. And I think he's absorbed every piece of it. Like, I like the part where the guy with the, with the sword and the dragon came in and it was like, Rawr! and and I, so I'm like overly excited telling everyone, like just recapping what everybody all saw with their own eyes. Dude, that dragon was so cool. I loved it. The, I have seen better. I I know this is called the uh, the fall of Tiamat, but I am, I am rooting for him. I think he, he might pull this up. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he doesn't. How dare you? I, I, I will wait and see. I will watch it anyways. We can hope. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, anybody, this Mert man, are we, is he coming to us or are we seeking him out? I don't... Uh, the note said we needed to, to meet with him, so I don't. I, I think we need to at least see if somebody knows who or where we can find him. I so will. I'll, t- I'll ask somebody. I was about to say, Tim will stick his head outside and just shout, <laughs> Hey, Mert! <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Um, no response. Okay, uh, you guys, I guess, wait here. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, so I'm going to head out and uh, and try to find a bathroom. So as as you go to head out, you see this large individual. Um, almost looks to, to like to the extent of like a swashbuckler. He's got the, the big tall boots that are kind of furled down. Um, Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> yeah, so he's got long shoulder length, really wavy, curly hair, and then the big mustache that kind of just comes all the way down and starts to curl up. His cheeks are pretty puffy, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they look a little red, as if maybe he's he's out of breath. But that seems <laughs> to just be him all the time. And as you hit the door, he steps right. And he's like, oh, 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 "You you you must be the ones we're looking for." Uh, I, you, if you are Mert, as your assembly, yes, he's like, "Yes, I'm Mert," and puts out his, um, his hand. Uh, I will stick my hand. Uh, I imagine up to him. Uh, yes, we are. I guess. Uh, you know, Raynar. He gave, he's the one that got us these tickets and said we were to meet with you. I don't know why. We just want to watch the show, but I don't know what this meeting is for. Um. Well, I mean, it's a it's a job, so. That's uh, and so he closes the door. And he's like, ah, oh, you got to pee. Um, huddle in, huddle in, huddle in. Uh, this is this is kind yeah, of weird, Mert. I thought you never know when there's ears whispering or listening. Yeah, I, so we no, I, I get that much, but I was under the impression that this was uh, yeah. like a reward for being uh, the saviors, and, <laughs> and I did not know there would be strings attached. Um, I mean, the the reward is the play, right? So you got that for free. I'm here to offer you a job. I mean, are you? I mean, you are the heroes that saved Floon and Raynar, Never Ember, correct? No, or maybe, I, maybe I have the lucky. wrong. Maybe I have the wrong no, no, people. No, 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 no. That is us for sure. I was just, I guess, caught off a little off guard because I was just enjoying the show and, uh, you know, thinking that was it. But, I mean, uh, a job, uh, I guess we are homeowners now, so we need to have some uh, capital to be able to, you know, upgrade. Well. So, uh, some work would be nice, I guess. Sure. I mean, that's why I'm here. Um, How familiar, familiar are you with my organization? I, I guess we need to start, uh, what is your organization? Do I see any, like, emblems or any, uh, kind of, uh, markings on him? Yes. Sigils. It's a sigil. Sigils, that's so, the word, yeah. Sigil. Sigils. Um, as he kind of pulls it, uh, aside his, his cloak that's, you know, draped over, you do see a crescent moon with a harp. Mm. Don't Google it. No, I'm not. Would I know what that is? Uh, you can give me a history check. Oh, that's an 18 with a with a plus 46. Plus, that's gonna be a plus. 
So, uh, that's good enough. Yeah. I mean, the plus yeah, sorry. is Sorry. Uh, plus zero. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, no, with 18. an 18, you know that that is the sigil, sigil, sigil of the Harpers. Like the same Harpers? No, like Ben and Jill Harper. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, we're, we're on a different continent 30 years or 50 years later. Like, So, uh, the Harpers have, like, super, super entrenched. So, I'll even give you with an 18, you understand that the Harpers, to an extent, are like the CIA, where they have agents just everywhere that are so. constantly spying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, kind of knowing that uh, and kind of the shady background of myself, I'm going to be a little reserved now that I see that. Uh, I, I guess I, I mean, we know who you work for or with. So what? what is the job? I guess that is where we need well, to start. Let's get to we, we business. Want, we want to you know, offer you maybe some a foot in the door to the Harpers. It might it might take a little bit to earn some real coin, you know, as you as you progress through the ranks. But the foot in the door gets you some renown, some might say, and uh, it's a pretty easy task. You just need to I need you to find some information out for me. What kind of information? Well, you you've ran into him before. So you see the, how do we say this, the fights in the street all day, correct? We are, we are well aware of, you know, the dead bodies that are piling up. So you know, neither, these... neither side is good nor bad here. Um, they're both pretty bad, right? But <clears throat> I need you to find somebody. <laughs> Maybe somebody's not correct. Something. And get some information from her. About Zent operatives. And, and Zent. And she is, a, she is a something, not a someone. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> he kind of does his deep belly chuckle. Um, yeah. So it's a talking mare. You mean like the uh, the horse, like? Yes, her name is Maxine. Maxine. Are you are you bullshitting us, uh, my... Maxine, the talking horse? I don't have time to bullshit you. If I had time to bullshit you, I would just do this myself. I mean, clearly this is. <laughs> and so hypothetically, this Maxine, if it is an actual person or thing, it, they are working for the uh, and I'll whisper this part the uh, Zentarum. Is it, is it, is it, no, no, no. And Maxine is one of us. And he points to the sigil again. Oh. Um, she is. She's, she's working on getting us locations. Because it, it may be a little bit less conspicuous if a horse is just milling around rather than a person. Oh, I get it. Right? Yes. It is good cover. It is. But what does this pay? Well, this first time it doesn't pay anything, so it does get you the foot in the door for higher paying jobs. So, just to be clear, we need to find Maxine and talk to her to get information about the Zent. To get information that she might have about Zent operatives. Yes. Okay. That is correct. I was going to take my shirt off, but Twitch friends okay. nipples. And what if we do not want to do this? Oh, I, I move on <clears> find <throat> the next person. That's, that's your call. It's... Why can't you just find this vaccine? Why do we need to do this for you? Well, Harpers are always looking to increase our rank, and the more we have, the more we know. <laughs> it's in a book. <laughs> Uh, can we can we take a minute to discuss amongst our, ourselves? Yeah, absolutely. I can step right outside. Thank you. Okay, you hear the door close. 
And he steps out. I mean, he's not going to pay us. Okay, but what I know about these people are... Uh, it is... They are kind of the, the good guy here. I mean, if we want to align ourselves with this good guy, this might be the way to do it. I, and, and maybe money not right now, but money soon. It's better than no money at all. But I, I didn't know we were trying to align ourselves with anyone. I am not saying that we, we stay true to those alliances. I am just saying we do it enough to get some money. I, I, hey, I don't, I care about me. To a certain extent, I care about Templeton. And uh, the, uh, you guys are starting to grow uh, to people. I'm not going to say that, but you are people that are, I now share a roof with. I am more worried about keeping that house upgraded. Like we have some, you've seen it, it's kind of a shithole. We have work to do. So uh, if this is the fastest track to money, then I say yes. But I think, Makani, uh, you need to maybe, and this is a bad time to not have her here, but you need to fess up that uh, you, you got that letter from Zentarum agents. I think to speak to Avil. Like, what is that about? I, I, I feel like we, we almost had to... Do we want to put a foot in both camps? So, I don't. I, I don't I, remember. I don't remember that. It was, she so she had a oh, courier come talk to yeah. her. So does does do we know that? Does Val know that? Think, yeah. 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 I did a uh, yeah. I did a perception check to see if I could hear. First of all, I do not appreciate you airing my business out in front of everybody. Well, that was a private conversation, and I do not believe that it concerned you. Private conversation at the public doorstep. You can take that uh, business to your room if you'd like. But what I am saying is we are now getting uh, information coming from both sides. And I just want to make the best educated de decision that we can. I, these in turn, they are in the middle of a blood war out in the streets of Waterdeep. I don't... I, I, I care for myself too much to uh, enter that mess. Um, Jackson, what are you mumbling about over there? Well, if we tell them about this carrier that talked to Bikani, he might think that we're part of them. No, I don't wanna... think we tell anybody about that. I thought, didn't you just say? Did you just say that we should mention that to, to Mert? Oh, no, I don't. I Maybe I did, but I, I must have misspoke. I don't think we tell anybody that... If we need to do anything, we play sly and coy and and uh, okay. keep all options open. <laughs> okay, good. Not sure what I heard. I am. I am. I'm sorry. I have to pee really bad, and I cannot think. My uh, apologies. Yeah. No. I. I think we should just. They won't hurt us to go find information. Yeah. I Wait, guess. I guess right. you're all right. I mean, it, at the most, it is going to be what, like, an, a, a half a day. I mean, it, this isn't going to be like a three-month excursion. Yes, we and if we get the information and it sounds uh, over our head or, or like we're not going to go too much further, then I, we, we drop that and we go maybe we, we have other things on our plate to do. So if this doesn't pan out, we go talk to Vajra. We go see, uh, we can we can meet these people from the Zentarum. We can, uh, shit, what else? I mean, we can go back to... I mean, this is a loose connection, but we can go back to the field ward and talk to Tommy Flenderson's uh, family and see what the hell is going on. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's if we run out of stuff to do in every time. <laughs> okay, I am, I am in. I say we, I say we agree. Jackson, do you, do you think that is okay? I don't want to speak for you. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I mean, I haven't found anything too useful yet. This is just going to help me get some money eventually. Maybe find yeah. something that I can use. So that is the goal. gotta keep myself busy. I think so. And from what I know of these people with the the crescent moon in the heart, they they are good people, and they will uh, support those that work for them. Uh, but uh, you know, we got to get our foot in the door, obviously. Yeah, but it's always good to have our foot in the door. More information, the better. I was strumming the harp. Weird oh, I was. Yeah, I know. So as magic. you guys are talking. The door just opens. He's like, oh, I'm so glad you all accepted. One thing I would oh, say what? is when working with 
us. Be cognizant of your surroundings. And he points to each side. He's like, I, I, I heard every word you said. I, I'll offer you something else. You said you have a meeting set up with the Zents. I don't think we said we were whispering. I think we would have been whispering, even though, like, I'm. Well, unless he. Uh, my bad. I will say. It, I will say it. Moving forward, I would have assumed we were being quiet behind a closed door, unless he has some magical, magical way of hearing us. We're not going to talk about our criminal connections out in public loud enough for people to hear. You're. It, it's a half box that has walls, right? It's not like a room. So even yes. though it has a door, if he's standing in the corner of box B, okay, okay it's right next All to right. you. All right. I, I, I just, I'm just saying, I, I think we would have been whispering. And Fool again, once. if you yeah. guys Fool want to once. say you're yeah. whispering, say you're whispering. No, that's fine. It's okay. All right. So, I, Makani, I don't know if you want to speak on this. or. Uh, uh, but, so, but if you have a connection, we might. I can offer you some gold for that connection. You take it as far as you can. Don't do anything that, you know, you may regret morally. Oh. But you take it as far oh. as you can, and I can offer you some coin. Uh, well, what kind of coin, now that we're talking uh, monetary value here, what kind of coin are we talking about? Because it, it seems to me going in and putting our, our head on the line for, for the Harpers and, and, and you, and I'll kind of whisper a little bit, uh, and you to get this information, I don't, I don't, my life is expensive. It depends on the information you give me. If you give me operatives, if you give me names, okay, say names, 25 gold a name. Names. I'm writing this down, so... And they, they have to be actual and, names. You can't just give me a name. Like, well, yes, I, we are not amateurs. I am an honest chuck, man. He chuckles at that. He's like... <laughs> but, so do you want just as in the... The Z, Z names, and that's all you care about. You don't care about the X names. Not, at, not at the moment. No. Okay. We, we're gonna put, we're gonna help put a stop to one side okay. first. I, well, I guess that is good to know as we kind of move forward. If we come across anybody, uh, so I think as a group we decided we will uh, take this job to go meet with Maxine, your uh, your lovely horse lady. And then, uh, and if now that you are privy, we will go meet with this this Z agent, and uh, maybe we will get some names. Okay. Did he tell us where, like, where we would find the mayor? That is our next question. <laughs> so yes, how about some details there? I don't, I don't know where she's at right now. Last I known mean, you could check, check the stables would probably be a good spot. Um, she I'm usually she's so. she's been in this. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to be smart. <laughs> Have you checked the horse track? Um, no. So you could. So you guys know pretty well that there are stables in the field ward. Like that's where a lot of the stables are. Uh, Templeton and mm. Val, and then. There are some in the Dock Ward. Oh, Dock Ward is way down south. I mean, we could go to, we could stop. I, I will save this conversation for after our friend leaves. Uh, so, um, okay, well, we will check. I guess we will scour the stables of Waterdeep. How do we we'll find back you? to you in two years. Uh, but yes, we will look for for your friend Maxine. I'll find you, Jax. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, you obviously know. Do you? I don't. I, I stop talking. And uh, behind the scenes, he rolled a nineteen with a plus five perception. So <laughs> even if y'all were said you were yeah, whispering, we'll he would have caught the majority of it. But yeah, so he's like, and he holds his hand out for. An agreement. Templeton to rush over and kiss it. That is, that's as good as gold. That kiss. Well, it's now not, you can kiss uh, his hand. No, you have well, to kiss his hand to seal it. It's not customary, but okay. And he gives a little, little peck on there. 
<laughs> Templeton giggles. <laughs> uh, he leaves. I'll run up and shake his hand. Here. <sighs> oh, well, uh, yes, you too. You too. You too. Shakes all of you. Oh, um, guys. He leaves. I don't. <laughs> As he leaves and closes the door, I'll, I don't know what we are getting into, but it, everything is moving fast. Well, apparently we should wait to talk, because he has the ears like a bunny. Yes, we we wait till well, let's let's enjoy the uh, finale of the show, and then we go back home. And then we 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 game plan. Oh yeah, the show. And I'm gonna run back to my seat and just kick my feet, ready for the next part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to go up to the corner. And like look around to box A or box B and box D. Kind of see who's there. Okay, uh, give me a perception check. 12 plus 5, 17. Yeah, you get out there far enough, you see Mert sitting in box B. That son of a bitch. And I'll kind of wave. All right. What about, is, what about the other box? Best, it is best uh, to wait. Makani would like to know um, look around. Is anybody, was anybody, is anybody look like watching us talking to him? Um, so you kind of look out, and it does have like a semicircle, so you can see the boxes way over there. Nobody's in there anymore. They're kind of just chatting. Um, you look out into the hallway. You don't see anybody like eavesdropping noticeably. I, I am going to go find a bathroom quickly, and go potty, and come back. Okay. So yeah, you as you go relieve yourself. Um, I just want it to be documented. Valerian Peace. Hey, Peace. Yeah, so Man. in the middle of uh, your P, lights kind of flicker, noting you have like a minute oh. left. Uh, I, uh, I cut it off and I shake twice. Anything more than that, you're playing with it, and I go back. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's what you're going to just say after every P. I hate P. you. That's where you just say, like, <laughs> you do it. And yeah, I, I walk into the bathroom and I say, oh, is this where all the dicks hang out? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I go back to my seat. So bad. <laughs> got him! You, I got you Travis. Travis. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> um. So, all right. So, show show resumes. It is pretty epic ending. I was just imagining somebody saying in the bathroom, "My name's Richard, and I hang out here." Does anybody anyway. really hang out in the bathroom? It do if you're Depen- in high school and need Depen- a cigarette. Or it depends on if you're on the clock and <laughs> wasting <laughs> time. I, I have spent many a poops. That's true. Thank you. Um, all right. So show resumes, and it is a pretty dramatic exit. And they have a lot of – it's not pyrotechnics. It's more just magic show. Um, ends with, with the slaying of Tiamat. Ah, and I know. Ah. Valerian's upset. I thought that I, I, I thought he was going to pull it out. And uh, yeah, so lights come on, and you start to see people shuffle out. Are we ready to? Uh, do, is there like an after show drinks, or are, are we all ready to go home? How long was the show total? It was about three kind hours. Like, so it's like so 10. it's like nine, nine or ten. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I could use maybe uh, a little warming of. The insides get to drink and then go home because we got all we have is that shit wine from the cellar back at home. Yeah, I am up way past my bedtime and I am loving every minute of it. I was only halfway listening and then you got to the loving every minute, it got me. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, we have on these nice clothes. Uh, I don't know, I do know a place around the corner that is rather nice. Um, Perhaps, perhaps we go for a nightcap. Yeah, I, one or two drinks, and then we go home because we we do still have that stuff to talk about. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps we could buy some bottles and restock our wine cellar a little bit. Uh, Makani, <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, I feel like our relationship is uh, ups and downs, and right now it is up. Let's we are speaking the same language. That is how life works. Wait, we haven't always been speaking common. What? What'd you we say? Haven't, we haven't always been speaking common. Do you want me to speak something different? I don't. I missed a beat, I guess. I like, <laughs> you said that you were speaking yeah. her language. Oh. 
Uh, now I we're speaking the same language in Travis. And... I got you. Uh, I will throw out in Halfling uh, like a, oh shit, like a Ive. Ive. Whatever that translation to Halfling would be. Okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry. But he, was, he, he would have actually asked that because that would not have been something in his tribe. How about we play some D and D? I'm. A, I am. This is called. Uh, I ain't playing D and D. Damn it! Uh, role playing. Uh, Travis, I assume a... that's it's all in character. That's that was in character. Um, that was the point of it. Yes. But do do we have have we procured a ride home? Uh, I do not want to walk. Do we need to tell the the cabbie to wait a little bit? Would he still be out there waiting? Yeah. On so us? that is a good question. Did he take off and we could just grab a new one, or is that... I would have I mean, said you probably would have... You knew, you knew how long it was, so the tickets say runtime on there or whatever. Okay, um, you know how long it is. So he would have come back. Are there other cabbies uh, readily available? Because if there are, I would send him home. And if not, I'll not pay really. him to wait. So okay. people here... For the most part, you could tell that they probably own these carriages, and okay. it's their driver, and they pay for their driver to wait for them. Okay. All right. I will. I will find our guy, and I will say, uh, "Hey, uh, uh, short top. We are we are going down around the corner to get a, a little after show drink. Do you mind waiting? I will. I will pay for the uh, to have you hold here. Before you embarrass yourself further, most of the time, you have rented one for the night. Is that, is that true? I mean, yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm asking what kind of sense. Okay, then. Uh, I, that, I would, uh, that is normally what happens when you have a carriage. You rent it for I, the night. It is okay. not a taxi. It is not I, a local farmer's cart for you to jump on the back of. I take back. We are now down at the low. We are no longer up here, uh, you and I. Uh, you don't have to make me look like an idiot every single chance you get. I will learn yes, these things. Does. That's clearly who she is. <laughs> uh, the the okay, first step I, to not looking like an idiot <laughs> is asking questions. That's okay. Fine. I I am checking in with our driver, telling him we are we will be back. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to pay more money than I need to. And I will uh, I will look at the driver and I will throw out three copper pieces and like we will be back. We are uh, you know we need a little drink. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll wait. Where do you want me to wait? Right here? Uh, uh, right yeah, here. Just, I could follow right you. Here. Okay. Right here. He can drive us to where he we want to go. Well, you said it was around the corner. I figured we'd walk, get some fresh air. What do you want, Makani? Get... We're, I'm going to... Get in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> so... So I think Makani's the last one in, and as she, <laughs> as she's in, uh, she's gonna look at the the carriage driver and give him a smile as she hops in. He kind of chuckles <laughs> to himself because he, uh, know, I, he I, knows. Yeah, I'll I'll say uh, I'll say driver, take us somewhere fancy. Uh, I mean, like fancy eating, drinking. Uh, fancy drinking, but not too fancy. Okay. Yeah. So he takes you to the spot. Um, it 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 doesn't really have like a name. He's like, tell him tell him Bert sent you. <laughs> um, and so you see what some large bird sent you. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looked just like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, and so Travis, he's... that's from Pee Wee Herman. Okay. Sorry, he didn't know. Sorry, I had to. No, I I did not. I never do. I never do. <laughs> okay. You were back, such a sheltered person. Back to D&D. I did watch Pee Wee Herman. I just didn't like, remember most of it. So, well, like, Hey, back to our Lawrence Fishburne show. talk. He was in Pee Wee Herman. Oh my god, he TV sure show. was. Not in the movie, the TV show. Which yeah, he was yeah. the cowboy, which was kind of okay. cool. But, back right. to the game. So he takes you around the corner, and it's this... So there's huge tall buildings, right? It's this building that goes down. So there's a small staircase that goes down, and there's a clear bouncer out front. Underground we go. Uh, as we step out of the carriage, I assume, Makani, you you have been here before. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, because I because I left it up to the driver. I I, I think maybe that this probably if, not. If there's if there's not a sign out, I don't think I would have been. Uh, Makani is going to say, 
Uh, of course, I've been here before. <laughs> well, uh, you lead the way, and uh, you. I want you. I uh, want to uh, tell me what the best drink is here, and I will. Thank you very much, Bert. And uh, I will give. Uh, Makani will give him uh, three silver pieces. Oh, you are always one upping me. I gave him okay. three copper. You give him three silver. You know the rules for the carriage. Fine. Are you ready to drink, or do you want That's to stand out here and talk about it? I will do both. I am good at both. Proficient in okay. both soaking and drinking. Well, I prefer to do it inside because it is cold as a witch's tit out here. Uh, so yeah, Makani, and we'll head into the bar. Uh, what what's what does this place look like on the inside? So yeah, as you look in, it's pretty dim light. Um, there's music playing from somewhere. It's a smooth jazz from <laughs> Duke Silver, and. <laughs> Um, but, <laughs> dude, I, I'm stuck in funny. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty poppin'. It's, there's a lot of people here. Clearly a lot of nicely dressed people that just came from the show. Um, it's butts to nuts. And yeah, it's packed. There are bar uh, tables. Yeah, so I'm sorry. There, there's, in the very center is a bar that is a complete, you know, Square, nice. and then on the outside there are no chairs, just standing tables. Apple, it's like Applebee's. It's better than Applebee's. <laughs> it's, it's like Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Circular. <laughs> uh, so, it's seeing that it's it's kind of packed, I'm gonna get in behind Templeton and kind of urge him forward. Templeton, you uh, you get us to the bar. You got it. Uh, I'm just gonna start to walking through people. Sure, I'm bumping drinks and. Yeah, you get a couple of rude faces that kind of like turn to uh, maybe <laughs> see what happened and then they see the look of you and they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you make your way to the bar. All right, right Templeton. Good job. Uh, barkeep. And so, yeah, Barkeep comes around. It's a shirtless male who's. Oh. Very uh, toy. And. Uh, <laughs> Man, he's sweaty. <laughs> Good one, work, bar did we come in? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fresh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, what can I get you? <laughs> My friends and I were told to tell you that a Bert sent us. Okay. And uh, we would like a round of whiskey sours. Okay. Uh, um, I'm, I'm behind uh, Templeton. I'm jumping up, waving. I, I just want a hot chocolate or a chocolate milk. You will have a whiskey sour. No, I want chocolate. Chocolate milk. Well, we, we don't have that, kid, but um, four whiskey <laughs> sours, and he just turns around and, you know, does some fucking cocktail shit. It's like a Tom, it's Tom like Kirk. a bartender off between him and the other guy. And they're, Hell yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, so he, he mixes it up and gives you four whiskey sours right off. It'd be a, I mean, since Bert sent you, this one's on me. Oh, this is even better. Makani, good choice. Yes, I told you. Only the best places for me. It is... I have to say, I go so quickly from enjoying your company to disliking you back to enjoying your company. I haven't enjoyed her company except, like, once in the cab on the way to the show. Well, Jackson, you got to lighten up just a little bit. Have this whiskey sour, and I'm going to kind of push it up towards him. You are in Waterdeep now. It is time, like... Things are looking up, my friend. We have a drink. No, they are looking up. I just don't like her attitude. Well, to be honest, neither do I, but it, it is fine. I am standing right here. I know you're standing there. I'm not. I don't there. care. Whatever. Let's have a. Let's. Uh, we, we should probably celebrate just a little bit and not bicker at each other. I mean, we're acting like we are a family or something. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, take a. The the, the 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 glass of the, the whiskey sour and just take a small sip of it and just make this face oh that's terrible set it back down kind of forcefully oh, no, on the no, table no no no, no. you keep going away. you keep no, going that's terrible it is uh, i will take his glass and pour it into my <laughs> okay you can uh, you can chew on the ice cubes so as they're talking Ooh, about like the drinks oh go ahead oh i like ice cubes i'll eat, I'll eat those those are those are good as they're talking about their drinks, uh, Makani's going to uh, get close to Templeton and say, at least you like me. 
<laughs> and uh, Templeton's going to say, oh, yeah. And then he's going to look over it at Val. Uh, yeah, you're a very nice lady. What? Would, this is a question for Devin. Would would Templeton partake in this whiskey sour? Or is he uh, is he a straight chocolate milk kind of guy? Um, well, I, he had some wine the other night. That's right. So I th- I think if it's the drink that's here, he's going to he's going to drink it and try it. Okay. All right. Uh, Templeton, nice. Drink and tell me what you think. This tastes like cleaning fluid, like cleaning stuff. That's what I thought. You are just like Jackson, and I will take your cup and... No, take... No! This is mine. Well, I thought you said you would not like it, but go ahead. I I mean, I'm thirsty. I have to drink, right? Yes. People need to drink to live. That is true. What's up? He'll make, like, a grimacey face as he, like, like, takes a sip off of it, like... You're gonna love it. Like, struggle to get it down, and then give you, like, a thumbs up with a smile, like... That's pretty good. (laughs) So what was your guys' favorite part of the show? I really liked it when the dragon got killed at the end and it fell and it crashed all over the state. Oh, that was so cool. That was a great show. I uh, was I was personally rooting for the dragon. The Templeton, I'm with you. I was hoping uh, that Tiamat would pull it out in the end and become victorious, but uh, it did not happen. I was really excited and hoped he would survive, but I just thought it was the way he crashed. It was, it was just so cool. Man, I gotta get to the sh- stages more often. That was so cool. Do they have shows like that all the time around here? I think so. You find a you find a theater. You find a show. Boy, what a city this is! This is a great there, city. There are many different kinds. There are there are uh, stories of triumph, like what we saw tonight. There are comedies. There are tragedies. There are romantic kind of movies. Uh, give me give me the tragedy every time. So what kind of show was this one then? What, what did you say that one was? This would be what is stereotypically known as like a hero's journey. Right? You have a hero, you have a monster or a villain, and the hero has to overcome the odds and properly defeat the monster. Mm, hero's journey, comedies, romantic, tragedy? What a tragedy. I always thought of that as just like a bad thing that happens to you. Why would you want to see that in a show? Well... It, uh, it, it, that one I think uh, most closely imitates life. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Okay, I won't watch one of those, but I gotta keep an eye out for more of these heroes' journey shows. That was that was so cool. Some people take solace in living. Some people take solace in viewing shows that remind them of their hard times. And that, as she says that, I'm just gonna kind of do the 100 yard stare just into my drink and, and take it take a sip boy that was I'm, and Jax is just still just uh, like amped up from the show so excited okay. okay I need a different drink what what did we have the other night what did you guys what were you guys drinking there that I, I didn't I don't think I had any of that that was a sweet wine I'm then I'm just gonna like kick myself off the table and run up to the bar and just ask to see if they have any like do you guys have any sweet wine um no the i mean the sweetest thing we have is the he hand he shows you an example it's a pineapple with a bunch of stuff <laughs> in it <laughs> oh, <John's special. laughs> how much is it it might just be a couple copper i'll take out like uh like four silver, just whatever, grabbed out of my hand and slam it up, toss it up onto the, the counter and grab the drink and try and run back. Thank you. Yeah, and so he and comes, back, back to the table. comes back with this giant pineapple that's almost as big as his head. <laughs> I'm pulling it with two hands. Oh my god, Jackson, you're making us stick out like a sore thumb with that goddamn pineapple. Now I'm going to take a drink out of it. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's way better than that cleaning fluid you guys drink. And then he's just going to sip on it. To each his own. <clears throat> Mine well, has a cherry in it. That is, uh, that is good. You like, you like cherries, don't you? Yeah, can I, can I have your cherry? Yes, you can take it, but do not stick your finger in my drink again. Too late. And then, damn you, <laughs> and I'll gotta slap it. <laughs> Too late, <laughs> missing it. Uh, damn it, Templeton, I told you. <laughs> do not stick your finger in my drink. It, uh, uh, Valerian. 
I noticed when we were talking about tragedies, you... You seemed like you were thinking about something. Well, I am uh, just thinking about all the shows that I've seen before, and uh, the ones that I like the most, they, they are the tragedies. I, I don't know what you are... You may be reading too much into that. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're all friends. Uh, uh, well, we are on this relatively rel okay we are all business partners down. we are all business okay. partners now we are getting closer to the uh, truth there's nothing that goes better with a whiskey sour than a story oh then the stories like what kind of stories uh you know like the rise and fall of tiamat like that kind of story or no tell a comedy well the comedy there are many comedies but i don't know any of them oh no, I'll just sorry. look back down at my, my big ass drink and take another sip. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you out like that, Jackson, but I, I you know, I, uh, Makani, I think you are trying to, you are uh, heading into waters that are too deep for you to, uh, to tread. I don't, this is not something, maybe I spoke too soon, but this is not something that I really feel like sharing with you guys at this moment. I mean, maybe uh, <clears throat> over pancakes again it might be a better, more appropriate time, but mm. there are things uh, about me that uh, not everybody knows. I guess I, I, I'm not talking like I'm this mysterious magician or something like that, but, you know. Okay, I, I, meant, I meant nothing by it. I was just trying to pass the time and enjoy the drinks. I... And for that, I thank you uh, getting us these drinks. But uh, that is not something I am ready to divulge to this business relationship yet, uh, or if ever. Um, yes, but we may we may get there. I don't. I don't. I'd like to try and reach over and like pat Val on the back and just be like, "Yeah, that's okay. If you're ready." I don't need to be consoled like that, Jackson. Well, fine then. <laughs> I, I sorry, I do I do not mean to bite your head, but uh, that's okay. I'm just, I mean, I'm going to stop talking and take a drink. I think there's probably an awkward silence, <laughs> and then so, yeah. So after a few more sips, a little bit more time, I'd like to look at Templeton and just ask him. So so you you mentioned that you so dreamt some. I'm a little drunk because um, <laughs> it's such a big drink. <laughs> Um, you mentioned that you dreamt about d d dragons and and unicorn trails. What, what else have you? Rainbow trails. Sorry. What else? What else have you dreamt up before? I'd like to hear more about them. Oh, is this uh, spinning? Is it just me? <laughs> I've I have lots of dreams. Um, I have a dream where where I'm playing with some kids and. I'm having lots of fun and then they all turn on me and suddenly they're chasing me out of town. Um, I have a dream where I'm sitting in the mud and people are throwing coins at me uh, and, and like apple cores and stuff like that and I'm having to pick out the coins. Uh, from the garbage uh, and then I have a dream that I'm saving a friend uh, who's gotten in trouble most of my dreams aren't aren't that nice uh, the dragon one though that's nice yeah that one was cool I really liked that one I liked I liked the the, the, the rainbow trail that was that was cool just wobbling around in his chair just a little what about you Jax what what do you dream about I mostly dream about just building stuff <sighs> and and all the competitions I've had sometimes I'll have a nightmare where I'm up there and I'm in my underwear or something everybody's laughing at me but most of the time it's about that or, or, or like finding the cool shiny new materials and stuff to work on I, I like those then every once in a while I'll have a great dream where I'm up on the stage holding this big trophy that's like six feet tall. I can 
I'm, I'm like struggling to keep it up in the air even a couple inches and everybody's clapping and applauding and oh that's a good dream that's, I like my competitions that sounds like a good dream when, when was your last competition oh I've been away from home for a few like a month now I uh, probably haven't competed for another six or so months and I don't know that I've won one in almost a year how mm. how is everybody doing with said alcohol level I am definitely drunk and maybe only like a quarter of the way through it <laughs> um, so I think Makani would have <clears throat> if Jax is starting to open up tried to get us more drinks so if there are are there like tenders walking around yeah yeah so I think she would she would get whiskey sours for everybody again yeah I would I would probably be on my second like Lightly sauced, one might say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not drunk. Yeah, no. Did she get one for me too then? Or no, because my drink is still full? She got you one. Okay. I'm just going to like slam my hand on the table and just slide it over towards towards Val. Uh, Templeton will try and intercept it. I, uh, I believe that was for me, Templeton. You were getting a little frisky. Uh, you got the last one. I don't go, care. Go you ahead can and just take split it. it. You take it. There is plenty to go around. We're having fun. And I'm going to try and pick up my drink. Fun! And some of it's going to slosh out. And I'm just going to set it back down. So. And then I'm going to take a drink. The other thing that goes perfect with alcohol is talking business. <laughs> I, uh. Are you sure that this is the, uh, this is the place to do it? Is it's is it loud? Is it kind of this music la- loud in here? I mean, <clears throat> you can't hear the people like directly next to you, and they're. I mean, they seem to be talking at normal levels. Yeah. But, so, have we? Would we have seen any Zentarum markings? I don't know how prevalent they are in the Sea Ward. I want. I would like to look for Zentarum, Harper, and uh, Xanathar markings or sigils, just as we're kind of, if we're going to broach the subject. Otherwise, I would say, Makani, that we wait until we get home into the uh, the four walls of our house that we know is safe, you can give me and a we just enjoy time. these drinks. That is uh, twenty-three. Um, 17, uh, twenty-two. Seven. Seventeen plus. You don't see anything. People are dressed pretty nice here. Um, okay. The the Zents and the Xanathar's Guild um, aren't dressed like shabbily. Gotcha. It's just lower class for sure. All right. But uh, I, I think uh, Makani, uh, I mean, I don't see anybody in here that might be looking out for them, but I would probably feel better about talking this back at Troll School, Ali. Yeah, McClashley, let's, let's talk about this. Back <laughs> I mean, I, we are in, we are in a establishment. There is loud music. No one is paying attention to us. Okay, you go, you go first then, if you are so antsy. I merely want to make a plan for tomorrow, before we are too drunk to remember. Uh, okay. Wake up and find the horse. What else do you need? Well, that's that would be step one. Plus. See, now I sound, I'm sounding like Val. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> they already sounded very. That is exactly anyway, why so. I did not want to play Makani tonight, is because I think <laughs> our voices would totally bleed together. Uh, but uh, Makani, I think uh, Templeton and I know of a few stables up in the field ward that we can go check out first. Uh, and while we're up there, maybe we talk about uh, we figure out. Uh, Tommy Flenderson, he is involved in this murder, and uh, who knows, there may be, there may be some kind of connection. Um, that would be where I would head first. Yes, that that was my, my thought as well. Um, you said we would know that there were horses at the docks, too. I do not think we are going to find the horse that we are looking for down at the docks. Damn, I just smushed, I just smushed the biggest spider crawling over my desk. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I the dock ward is so far south. I don't like. We might as well check the field ward first, and, and cover those bases, and then we go down. 
and then we go down south. And while we go down south, we may as well talk to uh, Vajra and figure that out. Like we, <laughs> I am feeling uh, kind of overwhelmed. We have so many things on our plate. But Makani, what do you think? We go up to, we check up north first. Ooh, plate. Can I, and I'd like to stop a server if I can. Do you guys have any food here? I'm hungry. This server just quickly and just like continues on. This is an well, animal. rats. I'm just gonna grab my drink. If you if you are hungry, there are most likely people serving food outside. But that's outside. I'm comfortable here. Uh, you can always eat that pineapple that your little fruity drink came in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can drink faster, and I can do just that. So, I. Ex ex go ahead. No. No. <laughs> no, you go ahead. I swear to God, I don't want to say anything. Fine, I, like I will say to, something. That's, I, you said go to field board, right? So you were saying. I think, yes, I think we go home <clears throat> tonight. We get to sleep, and then we, we go to the field ward first thing in the morning, and we check the stables there. We ask around about Tommy Flenderson. <clears throat> see what we get. I mean, because if we have to think about this, if we get any names about the Zentarum, we get uh, 25 gold. That is a lot of, uh, that's a lot of money that can go a long way. That will buy us some window panes, which yeah, leads me to the see. other business I wanted to talk about. Maybe some firewood. We are four way owners of Trollskull Alley. What are our plans with it? I, I think... Well, first of all, we need to get it uh, kind of sealed and weather tight. There's snow, c Jackson. There's snow coming into your bedroom. That is not okay. I don't feel comfortable leaving you up there, and I'm sorry. Oh that yeah, that, that gets that gets cold, but that's okay. Yes, but I think I'll we seal it back up. I think we seal it up, and then I don't know. Like we have a bar, we have a, a kind of a, a makeshift kitchen. I mean, those pancakes I had this morning were pretty good. We should open but, uh, a pancakery restaurant. Pancake thing. That'd house. Be good. Maybe uh, we make a breakfast and sweet wines. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. That is that is so far out of my realm. Like, I don't know. I've been I've been giving it some thought, and I do agree with you that pancakes seem to be something kind of interesting. Uh, I was thinking something along the lines of a brunch type of play <laughs> establishment. A little alcohol, a little, a little breakfast with some cantaloupe. No, and Makani, I, I, the, I like what you are saying. I just think that the, that is, that is down the road quite a bit. We, have you seen? You've seen the place, yes? It is it's a dump, but it is our dump. I get it. I, I like it. It, it is not a dump. It has been neglected. We it, have some it work has, to do. it has very nice architecture. Um, I believe that we could turn this into a place that people would want to come to eventually. Um, but it's just a thought. If we if we stuck to something like, like brunch, right? The that place is closed. Evening. The place is closed by two. That leaves our evenings open. <laughs> that is seven. correct. Yeah. And I'm not saying no to any of that. While you're all talking, give me a perception check with. Disadvantage. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. That's a sixteen uh, and a four, so a nine total for me. Uh, I am not going to roll for Makani because I don't. I don't know yeah, what her mo fine. modifiers are. Uh, Templeton has. Just uh, a roll a d twenty plus three. I think it's fine. Okay. Seventeen for me. I rolled a 17 and a 19. Nice. A uh, 13 for Makani. Templeton had a 3. I don't know shit. We, Templeton, you and I, we're... Heads are in the cloud. Okay. As you guys are talking, Jackson, you feel something touch you? And that's it? Just something touch me? Yeah. Where, like, did I feel it on my back or my side or where am I? Bat, sorry, I should have been more. Tell on me where the crotch. bad man touched you. No, um, <laughs> it's, it's on your, like, back, mm -hmm. lower back area. And was it, like, did it feel like it was a deliberate, like, somebody trying to poke me and get my attention? Or was it softer, somebody passed by and kind of hit me? Somebody passed by and kind of hit you. 
Okay. So I'm just going to try and like spin myself around and just kind of look and see what might have been hit me or spinning in whatever direction is appropriate for the way it felt okay. like it was. So yeah, as you, as you look around, you see a lot of people. <clears throat> it's gotten busier as the time's gone on, so it hasn't cleared out at all. But it's a lot of people just kind of... And you guys, I imagine, are standing at a table, so they do have accommodations for the shorter folk. So it's like standing stools to help you reach, like, table height. Um, But yeah, you turn around and you just see people there. Like, not they're just talking, they're chatting, they're kind of bumping into each other. And you see, as you look around, you're like, somebody's apologizing for bumping into somebody else. Did you, did you, who, I guess, I'm going to guess... Uh, whoever's sitting across from me, did you guys see anybody behind me? Did I just? Yeah, I'm done. I don't me. know. Can I have your cherry? <laughs> uh, just give him your cherry. I did not see anything. I think you're just like back at the house. You think you saw somebody? I I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna try and like get up on my tiptoes and look down deep in the drink because it's so tall. And I'm gonna find one. I'm just gonna stick my whole hand down in there and pluck it out. Gross. And toss it over at Templeton. Ah, Here's my cherry. <laughs> try and catch it in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, at this point, Templeton's had a couple drinks. He probably completely misses. Um, Makani, she did well. No, she won a roll of thirteen. Um, she'll say, do "You say you you feel like something touched you?" Yeah, I got like. A little brush against my back. Where is your back? Something. My, my, uh, what? Where is your bag? Where is my? You know, normally it would have been around my shoulder. I don't know that I would have taken it off and all the commotion. So I will look at, I'll grab the bag and just look in it. And do I notice anything there? Does it? Is there any reason to believe that the bag is gone? Give me. Okay, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think of what kind of frame of mind you would be in when you're drunk. Would you notice everything you had before? I would say I wouldn't remember everything. This is kind of my first time really drinking anything since so, I'm fairly young. So I'm. I'm pretty. Ha- I'm pretty hammered relative to the rest of the group. I'm gonna say, give me a, a perception check at disadvantage again. Yikes! Four. You. Yeah. You don't. You think everything's there. You don't know. Most what? importantly, do I because the one big thing I want to check for is my hammer. So I'm going to check myself for my hammer and make sure that the stuff beholder is still in the bag. Or, uh, uh, yeah, cause I don't want somebody to. Well, no stuff beholder. I would say I left back in my room. Yeah, that's probably too big. It. Yeah. So my hammer. That's what I'm worried about. My most. Um, you don't see it right off the bat. I, uh, Jex- Jackson, are you okay? I see you checking your, uh, all of your faculties there. I, I can't find my hammer. I'm not, I don't know where my hammer is. I need my hammer. My hammer. Where's my hammer? I, did you bring it with you? I, why would you bring the hammer to a show? It's one of my weapons, and I need to have something in case something happened at the show. And I just I... never leave home without it. Does it, does it have sentimental value to you? A little bit. Um, Makani is going to stand up on her bar stool yes, and yes. look around and see if anybody looks shifty. <clears throat> Give me a perception check. Here comes the boulder. Doom, doom, doom. Uh, you said perception? Yeah. Uh, 18, 21. Um, in the crowd, you see people that seem to be making just rounds. But you don't. Everybody's dressed pretty nice. You don't see like creepers. <laughs> you don't see the people who are like actively trying to pickpocket. If yeah, that's yeah, your thought. Yeah. Jax, let me see your bag, please. So <clears throat> take off my bag. I'll hand it to her. Uh, she's gonna root around. Do do I do I see the hammer in there? Nope. Yeah, I would have had it on. I would have had it on me. Yeah. Thought. yeah. I would turn uh-huh. around, I'll go, and the first person I see, did you take my friend's hammer? Excuse me, sir? Yes, you were right there. Did you take my friend's hammer, or did you see anybody I most take certainly it? did not take your friend's hammer. Okay, how about your friend? Friend of a friend. We've been just here talking the whole time. Please. Okay, good. All right, next. Get out of my way. 
I will, uh, <laughs> I will hop down and I will kind of uh, fish my way uh, towards the back of uh, Jackson and uh, uh, start patting down somebody, whoever I see. Like, uh, what do you are you hammer? doing? I am looking for my friend's hammer. Did you the hammer is his penis. I'm going to hop down from my stool <laughs> hammer, and check I mean, the ground nothing. around me too. Okay, yeah, you're... Are you on all fours? I imagine you're on all fours. It's <laughs> yeah, pretty I am. Busy. Um, yep. Just trying to... I envision the scene from Umbrella Academy. He's trying to find the pill. Um, but yeah, you're just... You're searching. You can't, you can't see anything. It's pretty sticky and gross. Um, and Val, as you're like a, a, accosting other patrons, um, Makani, you're still moment. standing on the chair. Yeah, and I think Templeton is going to slam his fist on the table. And, and say go ahead and and say loudly someone took my friend's hammer return it right now as he says that i'll stop feeling the guy i'm on kind of feeling <laughs> i would like to think <laughs> that while he was doing that too Careful. i like was surprised by it and i like i'll jump up and hit my head like on the bottom of the stool or something makani's still surveying to see if she sees anyone uh, making a run for it, uh, looking shifty, anything. You, as you are looking, you see four figures oh. in like the same outfit. That's you know, like a blazer, black, black blazer, black shirt underneath, black slacks, walking directly towards you as you guys are starting to make a ruckus. Walking, walking towards, towards us. us? Mm-hmm. I was hoping they would be walking out, but do they look you, like? As you look <clears> at them, <throat> they um, look like Templeton. Not like they're just big, beefy dudes coming at you. Uh, I move so, to the next person and start patting them down. Do you have the hammer? I assume I didn't find anything on the ground either. No. This is. I thought we were at an upscale establishment. Do you? Did you steal my friend's hammer? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, no, you don't have it. I will move to the next person. People are like, don't even know what to say. They're like, what the hell? This is it. If this ends up being on your belt, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I was just gonna ask Val to check my, to like pat me down like the the the, the, the theater God. to make sure that I'm not like miss noticing oh. it. Damn it, Jackson! Are you the, like this much of a lightweight? Yes, I will check through your shit, and I start like patting him down and rifling through his stuff. Do I find a hammer? <laughs> you do. Ah, uh, no, Jackson! Damn it! It's no. We have people coming. We are making and, fools of ourselves. And as you... you're talking, you see these four people come up. Is there a problem here? I'm gonna I quickly that... look at Templeton and ask him as, as quietly as I can. Pick me up and act like you're like trying to calm me down or throw me out. <laughs> Uh, so T Templeton uh, will grab him by the shirt and pick him up, and he's going to give you a, a slap across the face. Not <laughs> hard. Not, not, not. That's still going to hurt. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, my I could palm your skull. No, that's like, fine. Well, <laughs> you do, so, you do uh, so, yeah, I'm going to slap across the face and, and be like, calm down, Jax. Uh, I'm going to look at the, the guards like, I'm terribly sorry. My friend has had a lot to drink. I apologize. Give me back, give me back to my drink, Templeton. Or I'm going home. Yeah, I think it's time. You know, you guys have probably had a little too much to drink. We're gonna have to cut you off. Let's uh, let's find our way out. Yes, you are correct. And we will, Excuse me, uh, officer. We will head our way out, Jackson. You keep your mouth shut. I was uh, gonna say, I don't punish you guys. It was, it was me. I can go. Shush, 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 Jackson. It is okay. It we is, will go back. It home. is. It is uh, fine. We are. Okay. We are done for the evening anyway. Okay. Oh, my cheek hurts. Thank you so much. I apologize for our disruption. Uh, Jackson, <laughs> you need to like these things. You need to like put on the inside of your body, like, and I'll like kind of flash him one of my daggers as we're walking out. <clears throat> See, uh, that no one will ever take that. And, See, uh, these are the things that you learn sure, 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 from sure, sure. an adventure. Well, we are we are walking our way out. I yeah. have still Jackson by the shirt, and I'm holding him up higher than the crowd, just Templeton. like walk, walking him out. Do not let go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we are walking out. 
Oh, I'm tall. Is this what it's like to do all the time, Templeton? This is cool. Oh, I'm like a yeah. dragon. Rawr! <laughs> I, oh, I may get... I don't... Oh, yeah, this is probably the worst. Uh, you guys wait here. I will go get the... Uh, well, I guess we, we took the cart to this establishment. So I assume he's outside. Yeah. Yep, be so in. Yes, let's just get in and go home. <laughs> yeah, we had our fill of fun tonight. I mean, we could also work our way down the the, the ladder. We've, we've had a nice place. Maybe now we go to a not so nice place. Oh shit, Harry, you are. Do you see this? Uh, Jackson is uh, losing his mind. I haven't lost my mind. It's right up here. And I'm gonna point to like my neck. <laughs> yes, he has his hammer, but he thought he lost it for like 15 minutes and we found it on his belt. I mean, a little bit of sweet wine might not be a bad idea as uh, at this point to uh, kind of level us out with this with a whiskey sour and a sweet wine. I think um, once those mix in your belly, it's everything is copacetic. Are we in the cha- the the chariot on the way back, or are we waiting for it? I, don't I think you're, you're all moving. getting just climbing in. Yeah. Okay. It, but you have a family that you need to get home to, yes? Oh yeah, I do. I have a family. Not you, Jackson. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but if you don't mind, please, could you please t- please take us back and drop us off uh, on the high road near Windborne Way? Okay. Yeah. Is it sure? Wherever you want. I mean, Can you ping that on the map? Uh, it's j- it's it's j- right here. Just close to Troll Skull Alley, but not at home. Like we'll walk. So this is what I'm thinking. Let's get back into our home territory and maybe just see what the see what our neighborhood has to offer. Maybe there is a bar right there. Okay, that, I think that is better. I will feel better about being closer to home. Uh, and if we need to, we could send Jackson uh, back to to bed. Precisely. And plus, we could let Bert get back to his family. But I don't want to go back to bed. I want another That's big true. pineapple. Okay, uh, Jackson, you will be rewarded <laughs> gratefully, uh, gr- greatly for uh, what you have done tonight. <laughs> Remembering one of the songs from the show in his head, he's just going to start uh, just humming. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That was a good song. That was that was a good show. Did you guys like the show? I liked the show. That was a good show. Dragon was cool. They yep. have been better, but yes, they, if you like it, then it is good. You've seen better shows than that one? That was amazing. That must have been a really good show then. What I was that show? I must it. see the show. I will tell you about it in the morning. Ooh, the morning. Okay. I'll wait. Is it morning yet? And then he's going to kind of no, nod his head, eyes kind of closing. He's getting a little sleepy. <laughs> so you guys make it back to um, right off the high road, like Del Zorin Street um, area. And then gotcha. into the wind, Windborne Way. You do see a tavern. Um, uh, it does have a sign outside, so it's not like a you know hidden hippie joint. Um it's called Froon's Brews. F R O. Froon's Brews. F R E W N Brews. Uh, uh, I Jackson, I want to look me in the eye. How are How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty okay. tired though. I just need, okay. you need to be upright for uh, 30 to 45 more minutes, and then we will be home. Okay. We're Thank going you. to stop for one more drink, right? Uh, Makani, just one more drink. Yeah, just, just one more drink. Okay. Uh, Templeton, you are in charge of Jackson keeping him upright and breathing. Upright and breathing. Got it. Aye, aye. Okay. Uh, we are, we will step in one more drink. We'll have a little. Uh, I don't I don't know one more drink. That's it. Bruins brews. Okay, so yeah, as you step inside, it's not really nice. Um, 
It, it looks like a, a, a standard tavern that you're used to, all wood inside. So it does have, like, at the very back, it does have um, the bar with a tall barkeep. So he's probably six foot. Um, I'll drink a lot. Brownish, maybe, like, strawberry blonde hair. Um, nice, nice beard. What do the patrons look like in here? There's not much, so there's probably three people, and they're all at the bar, kind of head down <laughs> into their uh, drinks. And it's probably like midnight-ish. One hot chocolate milk for me and all my friends in this bar. I, I knew friend. I'm gonna look at one of the guys with their head down. And the guy with his head down goes, oh, and kind of just. And the guy, <laughs> the the bar bartender's like, man, we don't we don't serve that here. What do you? Are you, you even, are you even of age? Of drinks inside it or something? We will we will take sweet wine if you have it. Ooh, sweet wine. Wait, yeah, sweet. Okay, yeah. Um, and he pours some wine. Uh, it's actually to be clear, like a sangria. So there's a lot of fruit mixed in with said wine. Ooh, that's Ooh, nice. a sexy, I, I... sexy wine. I, I do want to ask you, maybe do you have like any uh, any biscuits or uh, bread that uh, uh, my, my friend here... I mean, it's just, dude, it's just a tavern. We don't really have like... Yeah, nothing. I thought it was I mean, was we like, could, uh, I could make something. Yeah, I thought it was water deep regulation. You had to have some sort of food just to maybe soak up some of the alcohol. Just it stay is. here. Uh, Makai's going to walk outside. Are there Are there any like street vendors with food? Mm, it's pretty dead in the middle of winter at midnight. No um, there are no food trucks. Are there any restaurants in, around or anything still open? Everything seems to be shut down mm. for the most part. I mean, it's it's getting close to closing time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's his. Uh, Makani, you find anything? No, there is there's no food right now. It's all closed. Oh, Mashley, you're back. Where'd she go? No, Jackson, I need you to just maybe not talk. It might be a good time for you to close your eyes and just like lean on Templeton, mm. just uh, ever so lightly. Uh, mm. The uh, the adults here are going to have a drink. Get out there. Templeton's gonna pick him up and cradle him like a baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And I say, uh, Templeton, you are uh, you are good. That is that is exactly why you are here. And I will turn around to the bar and I'll sit up and I'll start drinking, sipping on my sweet wine. And he's just gonna pop his head up and roar, and then go back to bed. So back to sleep. The bartender's gonna look at you. All. He's like, so. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen your face around here. You all new? Uh. Uh. So we're like a block, two blocks away from our house. Yeah. We have just moved into the area. Oh, really? Interesting. What, uh... What are we whereabouts? Just a uh, few blocks uh, eastward here. Uh, you know, I don't know what street it is. It's... I know. mean, why are, you, why are you being oh. coy? We have purchased a place in Trollskull Alley. Okay, that then, uh, yes. That is where we are at. I forgot the name. That is it. I, I'm just, I like to know my patrons. It's a pretty uh, friendly bar here. And, uh, yeah. you know, I'm pretty new to the area as well. <laughs> funny, funny you guys talk about Charles Skull Alley. I actually put in a bit on that place and <clears throat> I lost out. So, I mean, kudos to you, right? It's all in who you know, I guess. Uh, you know the right people. I mean, it, it's hard. It's hard to beat out a name like Volo, right? Yes, I think so. But I, 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 it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, what is, what is your name? Are I'm you, are Emic. you Froon or? I'm Mimic Froon. Yep. Uh, owner, Emic. owner, proprietor, and uh, this is my, this is my baby. You what, know, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys something. I'm gonna have the best bar in all of Waterdeep. Well, I, I got big plans. That is, uh, that is good to hear because, uh, I mean, we need a local watering hole that we can. You know, kind of kick our feet up and have a have a drink a bit on then. So this is good. But you just started. Yeah, well, what, you said you are not from here. Where, 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 are you, where are you from? 
Um, way, way north, way, 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 way north. Um, like how far north are we talking? I mean, are we talking you know where Alaska like north or yeah, you know where like and as you say that, you look at and you see some of the features of the Aluskans into this gentleman's face. Boy, you look like uh, you look like you mm-hmm. come from the cold and you come down here and it's cold. That's funny. Yeah, I mean this is this is temporary for me, so. Oh, well, I'm yeah, freezing my ass off. Many people don't don't know about us northerners up there. Not many travel past, you know, never winter. Not much to see up north. Yeah, that is probably true. So what brings you down here? You know, water deep dream. A dream. Uh, let, uh, if you ever find it, let me know because we are still searching. I mean, yeah, I found it. I have this bar. That is good. I am. Uh, I will. I will drink for you then, and I will hold up my glass and and take a sip. We are seeking our own dream here in Waterdeep. Uh, we are planning on opening a brunch establishment uh, at the building we purchased. Say, I don't know if you would know this. Do you know where we could possibly find? Uh, a good deal on like a contractor and some labor and like what maybe what their prices might be um you you'll want to hit the union so all the all the guilds they're they're the i mean kind of motions you to get close and he wisp he whispers don't do anything outside of the guilds pay their rate why, why would... Is, is there a reason? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I made a mistake. I tried to do all the fixing up myself. And came come to find out that my liquor license was revoked. My business license was revoked. And I tried to try to handle that myself. They busted out on my windows. Like, no. You know. Rumors, I, I have, I, you know, could have been hooligans, could have been, you know, the street urchins, but uh, I still, I still think it was the, you know, not, not working with the, the local guilds. Hmm. Well, uh, well, in our, fortunately for us, there are no more windows to be smashed out of our <laughs> place at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I have seen that. And Mick, let me let me ask you a question. Do you do you brew on site here, or do you do you have it shipped in? I have. We have it shipped in. I haven't set that far. Oh, okay. Yet. Are I you mean, looking in? what I was going to do was, you know, convert the entire manor into a brewery. But uh, oh, you're talking about our manor. Yeah, I mean that was the plan before I was beat yeah. out. I am so sorry. Uh, but uh, okay, that is good to know. So, perhaps, perhaps when we get set up, we could have some kind of deal where we serve your brewed beer exclusively. Well, that's why that Makani. That is exactly why I was asking. Is maybe uh, you know some kind of partnership here? We do the brunch. You do the evening. Wow, you two make a pretty good late. couple. What What does that say? That again? You two make a pretty good couple. No, 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 no! Stop it! You are the second person today. We are not a uh, couple. We are farther from oh, we cannot hey. be on polar opposites. My bad. We might be business couples. But that is it. Power we are business power partners. We are business partners. I am uh Jay Z, she is Beyonce. I mean, they had a baby Sorry. together. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you um, are workplace proximity associates. That is exactly correct. I, you know, I mean, I, I think it's a good idea to get to know each other the, now that we are living in close proximity. Uh, but like I said, if, uh, you know, if you start brewing on site, maybe we got your back, you scratch ours and we, you know, all that pipe dream kind of stuff. Nothing to worry about yet. That's fair. Just well, uh, like, what's the talk? business because clearly your friend here is not in the mood to talk who is that jackson yes he is 
He's kind of a lightweight here. This is his first, uh, can I say, adventure. <laughs> well, Don't worry. Well, Andrew, you won again, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, you will be fine. It's fine. Mm. Well, we come back, you know, during the day and we'll, we'll talk oh. someday. Yes, we will be back for sure, I mean. You know, you know where we are at, so if you are ever, you know, walking around, come in. Uh, Makani here makes uh, great pancakes, and so does Templeton. I, we can we can add that to Templeton's kind of uh, resume. Pancake make. Okay. And he kind of well, it's nice meeting you. Well, uh, I think you are the uh, the perfect end to a pretty good evening. Uh, we will finish our sweet wines and. I think we are on our way. Okay, he kind of turns and goes back and shuffles, doing bartenderly things. Uh, are we... So do you guys want to go finish our travel home? Yeah, I think we would probably just kind of finish our drinks and talk about, you know, the building and stuff like that and then make our way back home. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. So, um, I mean, it, it's not. The snow's still there, so it hasn't it hasn't melted at all. And you got about a foot, so keep in mind it, it, it's important to remember as you walk through um, Windborne Way into Sour Dune, Sour Dune Street. Um, and come into the alley. The alley seems to have some foot traffic, but not a ton. Especially where the city watch was. And uh, you return to Troll Skull Man. So, I would, I would ask just, I want to make sure that we're covering our bases. Uh, Makani, do you see any uh, footsteps that might be weird? Has it been snowing all day, or did it stop no, snowing? It stopped. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I want to check and see, like, are there any footprints that may be coming into close to our house that are not recognizable? Uh, yeah, give me a survival check. Ooh, survival. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Well, plus something. You did ask Makani. That's a I'll 13 roll, total. I'll just roll straight D20 and look, too. That's fair. Ooh, that's a 7. Um... Did you say 13? Yeah, 13 total. So you see tracks. Um, you cannot differentiate between the City Watch, who came up to the door, and then your tracks leaving. There are okay. no like, there are no tracks around the back other than where Templeton was standing. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I think it's okay. We should probably... I am ready for bed. I don't know what you guys think, but... I will take Jax upstairs and put him to sleep. Oh, please, yes. Are we are we uh, going to sleep in our own bedrooms tonight and build little fires, or do we want one big fire here in the uh, I, I in the entryway? I think we should, for now, continue to sleep in front of the big fire until we are able to ensure that we do not have snow falling into our. <laughs> into our house. That is probably a good idea. So yeah, we're gonna make a big fire and just okay. sleep in the main hall. And that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. So we're gonna cut a little bit short with lack of people before we get too deep into story time. Um, yeah, so thanks everybody for hanging out. It is Friday night and we really appreciate you all spending your Friday nights with us. Uh, yes. If you're in podcast land and or I know I'm sorry table top to keyboard dude you just poor timing. You can um, wake me up and I can still be drunk for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so we're we're gonna cut a little short tonight. So I appreciate everybody hanging out with us. If you're in podcast land, uh, come hang out with us every Friday night if you can. Um, we're here, we have fun, we try and interact as best as we can without breaking immersion or role play. Um, 
So until then, we will see you guys on Thursday for the podcast and Friday for the continuation of Waterdeep. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Pew, pew, and pew. dang, Ink and Ignorance Hunter Middies. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks, right. always. Bye. Bye.